You know, uh, when I get home after a long day of TV, there's nothing I like more than sitting down with some TV. And right now, one of my favorite shows is Severance. If you're not familiar with Severance, it is a series on Apple TV+. Plus. That is, and please stay with me here, not Ted Lasso. <laughs> but it's one of the most critically acclaimed shows of the year and has even been nominated for 14 Emmys, which means Apple now has almost as many nominations as types of chords. What is Thunderbolt? <laughs> is that one of the new shows? Stop it. Stop with the chords. Now, if you have not watched Severance, it takes place in the surreal subterranean offices of a company called Lumen, where employees have had a microchip implanted in their brain so that every time they enter or exit the building in the elevator, their work memories are separated from the rest of their lives at that moment. And as a result of this memory-severing moment in the elevator, whoever these workers are on the outside, which they call their Audi, is essentially a different person than what they call their any, the person who works at Lumen. I mean, that's so weird. Can you imagine what it'd be like if I went to work and became a completely different Stephen Colbert? <laughs> and there are all sorts. There are all sorts of other mysteries in Severance, like the strange number sorting project they're working on, the weird rewards they're given for completing work tasks, and the ominous break room where they're forced to recite a confession of wrongdoing. It is easily one of the top dystopian workplace sci-fi mystery black comedy psychological thrillers I have ever seen. <laughs> in fact, the only thing I don't like about Severance is that I was originally going to be in it. But for some reason, all my scenes were left on the cutting room floor. But thankfully, The Late Show has found the missing footage. <laughs> and here, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time are my deleted scenes from Severance. <laughs> Oh, my God. Who did that? Good morning and good day, Irving. I'd like to introduce you to Lumen's newest refiner, Steve C. Welcome, Steve C. May Kier's mouth ever smile on you. What it is, Irv? Irving, no thanks. Where is Marcus? Kitchen. Hi, Marcus. It's Mark S. That's what I said. Hey, all of you guys have got beards, all three of you. Is this Facial Hair Friday or something? No. Two of you look great. Look, um, I'm so excited to be with you guys here and working at Lululemon. Lumen. Namaste. Oh. You ever wonder who your Audi is? That's not for me to know. Well, I'm Steve C. Steve C. Steve... Wait a second. Am I Steve Carell? I mean, this is an office. I see paper over there. If this were Scranton, that explains why we never go outside. That kind of talk is not allowed here. Humorless, obsessed with the rules, you're Dwight. I am not Dwight. I don't even know who that is. Classic Dwight. Steve C. Oh. Are you stealing from the supply closet? Uh uh. Open your mouth. Paper clips work better when they're wet. All I can be is sorry, and that is all that I am. I'm afraid you still don't mean it. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling that either. Sorry. Can we take that from the top? Again, please. All I can be is sorry. And that is all that I am. And as God is my witness, I'll never go hungry again. Again. And no more accents. You sweet. There's a way. OK, some of the numbers are going to elicit sort of a fear response. I am aware. I know how to refine the numbers. Do you know why six is afraid of seven? I do, actually. OK. Because seven, eight, nine. 
If it wasn't forbidden by the handbook, I would kill you. I believe that humor is a great motivator, and I'm pretty sure I saw Dwight crack a smile. Steve C., who in Kier's name are you talking to right now? Congratulations on hitting your quarterly goal, Irving. As you know, good behavior is rewarded here at Lumen. Therefore, you may choose one option for a music dance experience. Select carefully from this list of options. Hit it! Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Jesus, yes. Hey, man, I was wondering, I'm an innie, and my belly button's an innie. Does that mean that all of our Audis have Audis? Uh, that's not how it works. Are you sure? Yeah. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. The ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Steve C., we need to talk. Milchy baby hit me with them deets. The board has reached an unprecedented decision to make you the first official unsevered employee. What in Kier's bubble butt are you talking about? It's become pretty clear that you've been stealing large amounts of office supplies. This is outrageous! Since you've started, we have lost over $20,000 in post-it notes and toner. Oh, how dare you! I would never steal from this place! You just put a lamp in your jacket. Oh, I put a lamp in my jacket. That's my lamp. What are you going to accuse me of next, middle chick? Taking this, this stapler and putting it in my pants? That's my stapler. I don't have to take this. I have numbers to be scared of. I will see you tomorrow. You're fired. Fine. See you Monday. You're a great leader. I'm learning from you. <laughs> You're fired. That guy is hilarious. I gotta tell you, The Office is without a doubt my favorite TV show. Oh, hey, hold that elevator. Oh, sorry, I don't think two can fit in here. That's what she said. <laughs> Tremel Tillman, Ben Stiller, and everyone at Severance and Apple TV Plus for making this happen.